I chose the, um, the story of the seven sisters. I've already set in the background for this. Um, and so what I'm doing now is just setting in the outline of one of the sisters moving into the corn plant. I'm going to have this plant wiggled around. It actually faces a variety of, of trials and difficulties as it makes its way upward. Um, the neat thing about art is, is that the artist has a responsibility to, to use whatever talent they have to, um, to tell stories about life experiences. Um, so then I looked up what I could about those um, seven sisters and uh, found a variety of things on the internet. I know they came from St. Louis in May of 1870. By train, traveled to San Francisco, took a boat down to San Diego, and then um, made their way from San Diego to um, the Colorado River, across the river from Yuma, and took a ferry across the river, then uh, took a wagon from there to this area. Um, read the journal of um, Sister Miranda and um, just was, was really impressed with the, you know, the, the heart that these women had to make that trek back then and um, to be greeted in Tucson and um, to just be welcomed by, I think there were, the, the diary said there were about 4,000 people that joined that welcomed these, these women. And uh, they encountered wolves, and of course they got encountered Apaches over there near Picacho Peak, and it's just a really neat story about about their journey from from home from St. Louis down this way. In this journey, this one um, diary of Sister Miranda, I I. I heard, I read that that first night when they left uh, San Diego, they just got about 12 miles that first day. And then that night, or one of those nights near, uh, shortly after that, they encountered wolves and and still <laughs> a lot of fear into these people. Just concern. And um, I don't know, just, they were, they really, you know, this is 1870. So they're traveling and they're, um, they need to, they're traveling across from San Diego to Yuma, and they, they want to, they need water. It was a really big deal for them was to, was to um, find water and have water. But that was the hard part, one of the difficulties that they faced. Give these ladies a lot of credit for what they experienced, what they went through. I extended her arms a little bit beyond realism because I wanted that reach, that sense of reaching up to be able to be used of God. Um, there's a certain time in people's lives when they recognize the full extension of their, their balance. Uh, can I show you the sketch that I've been working on? I've developed some sketch, just one page really, that's all I needed on this one. But um, in the, I don't know if you can see this, but in the, in the very front of this one there are some rocks that where you have people who are representing these sisters and they're in a very humble, bent over position. I mean, they're really seeking to know what um, God wants them to do in their life. And, and I hope that, you know, I've been through that in my own life where I've been through some very traumatic times and you really grow and you're fine. You just have such a strong desire to know. So that's in those rocks. And then, and then that's going to bloom up into actual, this one's probably a little better. It's just a very simple sketch. And, but yet, here's the rocks down here. And then the, you got these sisters moving up kind of rising up from the, out of the rock and then um, into full form and into full work 
um, as they arrive here in Tucson um, to do to start off with the, their work with St. Mary's Hospital. And I use I love using a corn plant because corn is so um, significant to me as a native as a Navajo. Corn is significant to people of the Southwest, indigenous people of the Southwest, and um, so out of that corn plant, I want to put in the instead of using corn cobs uh, coming out of that plant with a number seven would be the seven sisters right in here coming out of that plant into full fruition. So I'm excited to develop that. Now I'm going to sketch in down here with some other dark colors, just some rocks. And that's where these sisters are, are actually uh, involved in that place in their lives where they, they um, are reaching a point of confirmation, realizing the fulfillment of what they need to do. These rocks are going, to, they represent the, the prayers, the humility of those seven sisters and how they, um, they started out that way. They started out, there's something in their story that I, that I know happened somewhere in their journey in St. Louis or before they came to St. Louis where um, they, they reached a point in their lives where they knew that they wanted to become uh, nuns, they knew that they wanted to be involved in the work that God had called them to, and they they decided, you know, through the through a spiritual experience that that it was going to be, regardless of the circumstances, it was going to be something that they would would do, and so that's what these rocks are, and then I'm I'm gonna put into them, into the rocks, these um, images of, of um, people hum, hunched over in prayer. I hope that I can find some information about these seven sisters and how they even got together. I have no idea how that all happened, but I know that in my own walk and in my own life and in stories of friends of mine, um, Prayer is a definitely um, a powerful experience that that brings you toward each other. It brings you into a space when when um, God wants that to happen, ordains it to happen. In my thinking, there's absolutely no such thing as luck, good or bad. It's it's planned by our our Creator God. And there's a sovereignty to that. And um, uh, scripture tells us in that all our days are numbered. And, and uh, God is very aware of what's going to happen through our lives and how we can recover from difficult times and how we can go through difficult times and still be able to reestablish our balance, you know. All right, I'm gonna sit down and sketch in some of these corn plants that are gonna come out of this main stem there. Come out and curve it. And then sketch in the nuns as a corn plant right here. There it is, and then the face. And that part's gonna be white. These are gonna represent the seven sisters because of their fruition the time in, in their work here where they became, where, the, where what their works were producing 
complete fruit, complete fruit, life, life-giving fruit. And I think that it would be good to just define pretty clearly what's happening here. Um, you've got an individual who has come to a point of saying, I really want to um, serve my creator God. I don't want to mess around in life. I want to be um, very significant in my life. And there's a, there's, a, there's a point where there's a sacrifice to what is being done here. I'm going to, I really love in my sketch number four here, I've got um, saguaro cactus back here. And in, within the saguaro will be images of children and uh, different types of people all back in here, and there'll be a variety of saguaro across the background. Within those people, the, within, the, within the saguaro will be these people, and that'll represent, you know, what they did with the hospital and the impact that they had on people. And um, I'm going to, I would guess that there were a wide, already a wide variety of people in Tucson so I'm going to put in a, a good variety of indigenous balance in here. And even today, you know, we've got a city that has lots of different representations from all over the world. And just have those kind of setting back in here. I don't know the information on, on what moved them or what brought them together uh, initially. I, I don't know that, but I know that people of of character, people of balance, keep people who contribute um, their their talents and their gifts in a humble manner to the world. Uh, usually have a story of of uh, being rooted in a, a good foundation or coming through a journey and finding that balance and harmony in their life where they they. Um, They've gone through some difficult times that often that's the case where they, it's, it's honed off the rough edges and it's helped them to become more um, useful, I guess, just useful in how they're going to, they want it, they grow up and they, they grow into this world and they want to contribute and give.